Man, these sour candies are good. What are you doing here? I definitely do not have any candy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but that being said, what's up, everybody? I'm the Ventus, and we're back with another YouTube video. Oh my gosh, so much flavor in my mouth. Anyways, today I took some of the craziest TikTok braces and teeth trends, and we're gonna go through and let you know if they're fact or cap. Do they work, or are you just crazy for trying them? But before we do, make sure to subscribe or have crooked teeth for life. Now let's get into it. But for real though, you guys think I should start like a candy review thing where I tell you what candies are good or bad for braces? You know, let you know if they're good or not? Let me know down below, we'll get into it. No, she is not. Oh, okay, I ain't just not having any of that. Are you kidding me? This has been a trend for a little bit now where people take their emery boards and they file down their teeth or shave them into cane. I did one where we did one where a girl shaved her teeth into a, a vampire fang. But yeah, this is actually not a fact or cap. It is a fact that it is bad for you, okay? So don't do this. Every time you do that, you shave down your enamel. And when it gets too far, you get into your dentin. And if you get in there, you got nerve sensitivity, cold sensitivity. You can even go so far that you hit the pulp and some blood come out. And then you got to get a root canal and a crown. So this one, obviously, meh. So nah, don't do this. All right, so the next trend I saw is people trying to remove their braces. Check these out. My dentist will my say. I'm a certified dentist in my opinion. Oh, oh God, no, please don't. Stupid. Oh, he just, go, he just gonna call me stupid. Okay, well that's not it. Another girl went even a little bit further with it. Check this out. She's straight up going in with pliers? Oh God, oh, she already got the top off. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. She's still going. Obviously, you guys don't need me to tell you that taking your braces off by yourself is a bad idea, man. And you wanna know why? It's because we have special tools to take your braces off. One, what they do is they actually crush the bracket, popping it off the teeth without causing any any harm to the teeth. Now, what you're gonna do is if you take them off yourself, you're using a plier and you're cranking on it, that can actually fracture your tooth and rip enamel off with the bracket. I've seen it, it's not good. And number two, what are you gonna do with all the glue that's left over, man? What are you gonna just scrape that off with your fingernails? That ain't coming off unless you have a dental drill to polish and clean all that glue off. So even if you think you're skirting bias by taking your own braces off, you're gonna be stuck with glue and then you're gonna have to go into your dentist or orthodontist and explain why you got glue all over the place and they're probably not gonna take it off for you unless you play some money man so don't do this one okay the next trend I see on TikTok is tooth jewels now let's check these out and see if they're safe or if they're not safe Ooh, we got the bag I found a tooth gym kit online step one probably not best to get things online that you're doing to your teeth but we'll see okay you should not get it done in the dentist don't do it at home well what do you know well at least she's honest with herself but you know she kept on going through with it so let's see what do that at home is going to be damaging to your teeth okay well at least you know she's honest okay all right, you know, she's got I'm some she's good food. good moisture control here. Okay, good, good. She concentrated. She put it on there. <gasps> she did it. So she's adding her bling. Oh, she's going to light. She didn't even light it up. Oh, look at my acne built legs. Oh, I love it. I mean, they look good. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure that was nail glue. I'm also very nail sure glue. That's that's I'm very sure this is not for my teeth at all. Let's see how long it will stay on there. Okay, so the first person did a DIY at home kit, okay? Now, what you notice is there was no etch, there was no lights, it was just a little bit of glue on the teeth. Those are semi-permanent. No glue is probably gonna stick to her teeth, so honestly, actually, that style is pretty safe. I don't think it's gonna cause any issues. Now, let's go ahead and check out the next one. Just pierced my teeth, what you mean by that? Oh, stop it. You did not. No, you didn't. Oh, okay, okay, so first off, that is another type of tooth gem. It looks like you pierced your teeth, but she really didn't. She just put a little tooth gem in there and glued it on there. That's not actually anything, it's not anything crazy. She probably just hooked it on there. I, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but it's not harmful to your teeth. So let's check out the third one. Oh, we got a lot of bling here. Okay, she's got really pretty teeth. Okay, now I'm gonna pause it right there. It looks like she's at a professional establishment Probably not a dentist or an orthodontist, but maybe a professional tooth gym person. I don't even know if that's a real job or not, but let's see how they do it. So they're cleaning it up, put it on there. And so you notice they add the light on there too. Okay, so more than likely that one 
was with some professional stuff. Now, you see the light and the glue that they used? That's a little more permanent. It's gonna stay on there for a lot longer, but the same way that that person broke their brackets off and had glue there, it's the same thing. So if you permanently use etch and glue to glue on a tooth gem to your tooth, when that tooth gem falls off, you will have glue, and it will have to be removed by somebody professional. And I probably do not want a tooth gem person drilling on my teeth to get the glue off. I would want a dentist or an orthodontist so it is a little bit back and forth, but for the most part, tooth gems are pretty safe. Not a problem at all. These next ones are just a couple of weird things that happen with braces and teeth and people in general. Let's check them out. Can you explain, explain how this happened? What you mean? This happened. This bleeding man will need no, she did it. She has her lip ring stuck in her braces. No. Obviously, that's one issue we have with tongue rings and with lip rings. Lip rings can get stuck. It's a lot harder to, but it can happen. And tongue rings actually can damage your teeth because you're click, click, clicking, clinking them all over your teeth and it can chip and hurt your teeth. So don't recommend having any piercings or anything inside the lips or cheeks or mouth during braces. Oh, she just going right after a whole block of, what you doing? That ain't supposed to be eating that way. It's some crunchy though. It sounds like she walking on snow. Oh, that must be some banging cornstarch. So what that is, is that's a trend going on right now. Cornstarch. Just eat, eating cornstarch. People say it tastes sweet and powdery goodness. But I'm going to tell you right now, this trend's, you know, actually not terribly too unsafe. Cornstarch is really just straight up carbohydrates, okay? The only issue is, is that sometimes uncooked, it can have bacteria and pathogens and things like that inside of it. So normally you do want to cook it, but eating raw cornstarch really won't cause it that much of an issue. One thing though that is interesting though is if you're really craving cornstarch, you could have anemia or low blood iron in your blood, which is crazy. So if you are craving a lot of cornstarch, you might wanna go get checked up by a doctor. Now this next one is the weirdest one I found of the whole entire day. Addicted to, eating, addicted plastic. to eating bottled plastic? What? Oh I've no. 12 remotes, over 5,000 beads. Over a thousand okay, where's, cocktail what? swords, a hundred forks, about oh. ten water bottles, two pacifiers. Uh, it's like so many plastic items in your house. How do you eat all of them at the same time? Twenty-five plastic lids on to-go cups. Okay, so anyways, do I even need to speak? on this one okay i mean obviously eating plastic is not normal and not good if you eat on plastic and chew on plastic you're probably gonna break a tooth okay because it's hard it's not meant to be chewed too you can't really digest it no nutritional value in plastic homie and plus there's tons of chemicals and issues that i am sure that i am not qualified to speak on but i can't say that it is gonna be good for you so i'm gonna have to pass on this one okay we are oh for like five thousand on things so far let's see if we can find some good toothbrushing ways to whiten your teeth. Let's see if any of these are fact or cap. Let's get into it. So right out of the gate, it looks like we have some charcoal. Ooh, brush with this for five minutes for whiter teeth. She really getting in there. And you know what I'm saying is like that charcoal just makes your teeth all black. Ooh, man, rough. Okay, so charcoal toothpaste. Bentis, does charcoal toothpaste work or no? Is it cap or fact? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that this is cap and the reason why i'm going to say this is cap is because yes it does make your teeth whiter but for the wrong reasons okay charcoal toothpaste is actually a very very highly abrasive thing it's almost the same as if i told you to brush with sandpaper yes if you brush your teeth with sandpaper you will get some stains off and your teeth will look whiter but you're going to have terrible sensitivity and it's going to harm your teeth over time so as a safe, viable way to whiten your teeth, no. Stay away from charcoal toothpaste with everything you got. Now the only exception is if you find in the supermarket charcoal toothpaste that is enamel safe. Now this is where companies wanna hop on the bandwagon of black charcoal toothpaste without actually having charcoal in it. So it basically is just black toothpaste. Now let's see if this next one works as a whitener. Okay, so next up we got turmeric and coconut oil. Forget white strips, okay, forget so whitening coconut toothpaste, oil. use this. You're gonna yeah, we take see a this all the time. Of coconut oil, oil and some turmeric powder. Shake that right, in so and you're gonna make a paste. Well, it doesn't look like she's also she don't use like your mixing regular it all together. Use a dollar store she's toothbrush gonna make a paste or something out of it. cheap. Your paste will look like this. You're gonna just start brushing okay. with that, wiping any off your skin because and it's she's gonna brushing stain. away. Brush for a full two minutes. Jeez, you do not want to spit this out. 
especially in I your sink because it will clog your drain. So everything. You're gonna spit Turmeric on your plate, is but so not yet. staining. You're going to push all that oil to the front of your teeth, Stop. the front of your mouth, and hold it there. You're going to do that for minutes. five minutes? Once that five minutes is up, then you're going to brush your teeth until all the yellow's gone. I noticed results the first time I did yes, it. Yes, okay. Your so teeth like are white. I get it. Okay, once again, let's talk about it, okay? We got two different things in here. So one is the turmeric as a whitening ability, and then also oil pulling, which is just switching around coconut oil in your mouth for five to ten minutes. Now, both of these are complete cap, okay? Don't waste your time doing this, man. Turmeric is also just an abrasive powder. Same thing as like a light sandpaper, again with the charcoal toothpaste, except for this time, it stains everything yellow, okay? I mean, you get on your shirt, your hands, your mouth, it'll stain it yellow for sure. And also, oil pulling, such a waste of time. There's so many research studies out there that show that oil pulling does absolutely nothing, and only the plaque that is removed is from the swishing motion of the coconut oil. People believe that it pulls all these toxins and craziness out of your teeth. It's not true, okay? Coconut oil, cool. I mean, you can use it in a lot of things, but to whiten your teeth, it's not gonna do anything for you. What you're really doing is you're just scraping against it with the abrasives to relieve, or to basically show the whiteness from the underneath new layer of enamel because you ripped the old one off and it's gonna cause a lot of issues down the line. So don't do this. And also, instead of spending 10 minutes oil pulling, you could just brush your teeth for 30 seconds. Why is everybody trying to go so crazy out of their way to try and figure out new ways to do something way easier? Makes no sense. If you want to whiten your teeth without using those whitening more. strips, more tricks. try this. this. In a bowl, add some kiwi Kiwis. and some cucumber. Mash it up. Mashing them up. Add a little bit of baking soda. Baking soda. Mix it up. And that's it. Put it on your toothbrush and brush your teeth with it twice a week. Tastes like kiwi. At least he said Kiwis twice a week. packed with calcium and cucumbers get rid of any bad bacteria that builds up in your mouth, which in turn gives you whiter teeth. Alrighty, so does kiwi, cucumber, and baking soda whiten your teeth? Yes, but actually not for the reasons you think. Once again, we found the culprit again. It's the baking soda or the baking powder that is actually causing the whitening of the teeth. It's just an abrasive. Again, we use it Arm & Hammer baking soda toothpaste, guys. That's what they use. It's the abrasive in the toothpaste. It helps clean it. It's just another different way to clean your teeth. Do you need to add kiwis and cucumbers? Absolutely not. You could just do baking soda and water if you wanted to. But that being said, still probably not as good as regular toothpaste. I wouldn't add the kiwis in because those have a lot of sugar in them too. And then putting sugar on your teeth, that would be like kind of like, that would be like brushing your teeth with sugar, which doesn't really make sense to me either, man. So uh, I'm going to have to pass on this one. I saw a dentist on TikTok saying okay, that the got main ingredient in whitening strips was peroxide, peroxide there you go. and it's really cheap to buy on its own. Now, if you're a dentist, don't tell me this is wrong. Save me the grief. The damage has already been see. done. So okay? she's dabbing the but hydrogen peroxide I on there. I like how she's being very eBay, careful just, with it. It has to be 3% and I dipped it in Putting with a little on a Q -tip. and wiped it on my teeth for about 30 seconds to a minute. So all the and I ended up putting it in the cap and swishing it Do around my mouth swish. before I brushed my teeth. It is disgusting. It literally tastes like whitening strips. It's disgusting. But basically, after four days, around. I had to stop doing it because okay. it worked so well. So, so, hydrogen peroxide, does it work? Is it cap or is it fat? This one, surprisingly, is fact. Hydrogen peroxide is the main ingredient in all your whitening products. And it's actually the main reason why you can safely whiten your teeth. The hydrogen peroxide goes into the tooth and relieves the stain from the inside out instead of all these other bad ways that rip the enamel off the outside whitening from the outside in. We don't want that. So hydrogen peroxide is actually totally safe to use. Just make sure that the hydrogen peroxide you're using is food grade safe. You don't want the chemical version of hydrogen peroxide. And also for long-term use, it can cause issues with your gums and tongue and cause oral hairy leukoplagia, which is like a big brown hairy tongue. You'd probably don't want that. That being said, there are plenty of ways to get hydrogen peroxide in safe ways. In toothpaste that's whitening, and mouthwash that's whitening, and whitening strips. All of those use hydrogen peroxide as the main way to whiten your teeth, and that's why it's the best way to whiten your teeth. Now, that being said, this way technically works. So, yeah. 
So there you guys go. We went through everything today. We went through different trends. We told you if they were cap, if they were fact, if they work, or if they didn't. And hopefully you guys are a little bit more educated on everything that has to do with teeth and braces. Make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below which one was your favorite. What do you want to see next from me? You want to see reactions? You want to see candy review videos? What do you want to see? Stuff with me and Megs? Let me know. I love you guys so much. We're over a million shooting to the moon for two million. Till next time, I'm the Venice. We'll see you later.